Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a gentle 40 minute yin yoga sequence which will help you to calm down after a long day at work, releasing any tension that may have built up from sitting at a desk. We begin in a comfortable seated pose with a simple cooling breathing exercise, which is called Sitali Pranayama. So cross legs if comfortable, otherwise you can always be kneeling or sitting up on a block if that suits you better. The palms rest on the tops of the knees, drop the shoulders away from the ears and close your eyes. Extend the crown of the head upwards, spine long. And just take a few intentional breaths here. Starting with a breathing exercise, and if you're not sure, you can look at the screen for this first round. We're going to inhale through an O-shaped mouth. And then exhale through the nose. Join me now. Inhale, purse your lips. Exhaling through the nose. Now take a few more rounds on your own pace, really slowing down your breath as best as you can. Allow the breath to find its natural state, observing the inhales and exhales through the nose. And notice the quality of your energy, even after this first exercise. Has it changed? Or maybe not?
gently blinking the eyes open. Let's make our way to the first pose, which is a toe stretch, so come into all fours. Flex your feet, curling the toes under, shift your body back, hips directly on your heels, and you may need to manually adjust your pinky toes with your hands, place your palms on your thighs. If this stretch is too intense for you, and you will notice it right away because this is a pretty intense stretch, you can keep your hips slightly elevated and put your hands on the ground out in front of you to make it less intense. So less weight is on your heels. Exhale, slow steady breaths through your nose. Let's release the toes, point your toes back, coming into tabletop pose. Now moving into a simple wrist stretch, keeping your spine and neck parallel to the ground. Rotate both palms so that the fingertips point towards your knees. Spread your fingers wide to keep the weight evenly distributed throughout your hands. Slowly shift your weight back towards your heels, lifting your palms off the ground keeping your fingertips flat on the ground and hold here. To make this even more restorative, you can inch your knees a bit forward to your hands so that you're able to sit down on your heels. The more space between knees and palm, the more it intensifies the stretch. So be mindful and find your edge in this pose. You maybe need to adjust. So if you type and text a lot during the day, the wrist can get tight and this will free them up. Slowly peel your hands off the mat, sitting down on your heels if you haven't so far. And now just taking some wrist rolls as a counter pose. Swing your legs forward. Sit up tall and stretch your legs out in front of you, coming into caterpillar, which is a passive forward fold. 
Let your spine round forward, chin to chest. Relax your head, neck and arms. Round as much as you can here. And there's no reaching towards the feet at all. We let gravity do the work. Keep a slight bend in your knees so that you don't lock them up. We'll be holding for around five minutes here. If you notice that your lower back is tilting back, you can sit on a block to elevate the hips. Soften the legs and completely let go, surrender into this shape.
be really mindful of your low back as we make our way back up, engaging the arms, pressing onto the mat to lift inch by inch. Neck is the last thing to come back up. Transitioning to our half butterfly shape for a side stretch, extend your right leg out to the side with the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Keeping a bit of a bend in that right knee, especially if you're having any issues here. So you can lean to the right side, placing your elbow on a block on the first or second side. Bend into your elbow to support your head. Left arm just relaxes onto your left knee. Shoulders glide down the back. About four minutes in this pose. Relax all muscular effort, let gravity do the work here. Sending the breath into your side ribs. To come out, press back up very slowly with your arm. You might need your hand to help your knee bend to switch to the second side. You move your block. This time your left leg will go out, right foot will come to the inner edge of that thigh. Sit up nice and tall, extend the crown of your head up. 
bending to the left side with your torso. Again, left elbow rests on a block, either to your first or second side, wherever your edge is. And sometimes it's different from side to side. I also took my elbow on the second side of the block this time. It's totally normal that the body is different between sides, so don't worry. Let your left fist support your head. Let your head be heavy. And try to rotate the chest to the ceiling so that you're not collapsing to the ground. Imagine your breath going directly into your side ribs, filling that space with ease and relaxation. Come out, arm strength only, be careful, lifting all the way up. Place your block to the sides, legs to the back of the mat, lowering all the way down on the floor. Take your time. Pull your knees into your chest and just rest here for a moment, taking in long deep breaths into the low back to release any tension there might be. You can gently rock from side to side or draw small circles.
progressing into happy baby so you can widen the knees to your shoulders as a first option stretching to the inner groin if you would like to go further into it you can stack your ankles over the knees and either catch a hold of the big toes with your peace fingers or you can hold on to the outside of the feet gently pulling down Your arms will need to engage in this pose a little bit, but try not to engage any muscles in the legs as much as possible. In yin yoga we want to focus on the fascia and the connective tissues. Using muscular effort would prevent that from happening. So do your best to relax the muscles in your legs. Always remember if the stretch gets too intense, you can always come back to having the knees pulling in towards the shoulders. Start to release the hold of the feet, move as slow as you can, give your knees one final squeeze and bring your feet back to the mat. As our final pose before Shavasana, we will take a laying spinal twist. So push into your legs to lift your hips up and just shift them a couple inches to the right, letting the knees drop down to the left. Reach both arms out to the sides into a cactus shape. You can stay right here or if you want to, you could double wrap the knees to intensify the stretch in the other right hip and the low back. Try to keep your right shoulder down to the ground and if it doesn't make it all the way there, Prop your knees up with a blanket or a block, chest facing up, twisting the mid to lower back only.
and we'll unwind and unwrap the knees, bringing the hips back to center, coming into our laying spinal twist on the other side. So lift your hips up again by pressing down through the legs, shift a few inches over to the left and then let both knees drop down over to the right side. Reach out through your arms, left shoulder comes down to the floor. And again, option to double wrap your knees if you want to. Let's come out of this pose, uncross the legs, coming right into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Stretching out the arms and the legs, palms facing up towards the sky. Let yourself really soften here. Be open to receive the benefits of your practice.
So this is where I will leave you. I encourage you to stay in Shavasana as long as time allows. When you choose to come out, remember to do so mindfully, pulling the knees into the chest, rolling to your right side and pressing yourself up. May your day be filled with light and love. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with anyone who could need a little bit of yin in their lives. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.